looked at three different parts of the country with three different ID refusal fails. I don't think we should blame the citizens so much about them not knowing their rights. We need to blame the officers for not respecting our rights, for not giving us a choice to ID or not. Knowing your rights is one thing, but asserting them is another. And that can be difficult when you're surrounded by tyrants who lie to you and make you second guess yourself. Please hit that thumbs up because that helps my videos get passed around and more people can learn from them. And hit that bell notification so you never miss an adventure. Let's get right into it. This is Small Town USA. Anywhere Small Town USA. I have not committed a crime. I'll give you my, I would glad, I would be glad to give you my ID, dude, if you had a reason to ID me. I do. What's your, what's That's your reason? For the call. For a, the only reason, this is not a stop and ID dudes. state. Tennessee is not a stop and ID state. I do not give up my ID without committing a crime, man. Sure, on a traffic stop. Do you know the, do you know the, the Fourth Amendment, the First Amendment? Yes. What are they? You talking about the Fourth Amendment? Yeah. Unlawful search and seizure? Yes. This is not what a stop about? and ID state. This is what not a stop about? and ID state. You're required to. You're about to get. Yourself. You're about to get in some trouble, dude. Give me your ID. <sighs> Why? Because I need to identify who you are, who you're saying you are, because I'm here I never told you who I was. A theft. <clears throat> or a burglary, however you would like to word that. So, you suspect me of committing a crime? Yes. I suspect you're breaking into the house. So, I am here to ID you. Okay. So did a confirm that. all parties involved. Okay. Okay? And then, once I debunk uh -huh. the whole, hey, you all are here lawfully, I've ID'd you. Mm -hmm. So, this guy... You and you are who you say you are. Uh -huh. You're all here legally. And then I give you your IDs back and I leave. Okay. I mean, that's, that's, I, w I would be totally glad doing that if we're all on the same page we that are, you are within your. The, the, and that's the only reason I'm compelling ideas because I'm here to investigate a burglary. Somebody just saying. I've hey, just been informed by legal counsel, dude, because I have been, I've had bad run-ins with the law before and i'm not here to do that i'm here because somebody called in on someone breaking into a house he just wants to make sure who we are okay yeah i know i totally understand that and i just don't want them job. violating my rights ID. that's all and i'm not here to do that okay i'm here to id everybody involved because i'm here investigating a burglary i understand that and it looks like you know something might have happened but i'm Absolutely. trying to explain to you that that's why I'm, that that's why I'm on private property we own this home we're on private property, right? I work for him, so I'm under his. You know, sure. He owns the home. Yes, that is all we're doing. It's just trying to identify who we're speaking with. It was simple as him. I understand that. I know it's simple, but I just, I just want to make sure that you guys aren't violating my rights right now. I know this just Tennessee is not. That's not how it operates here. In all 50 states, your identity is protected by the Fourth Amendment. So police must be able to articulate reasonable suspicion of a crime before they can even do an investigative detention on you. During this investigative detention, they're looking for probable cause because with probable cause, that enables them to take you to jail in order to identify you. I totally respect the law and I, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I just no, want to make sure either. everybody's... We're just wanting to identify who we're speaking with. Yeah. No, I understand, but you know... What's up, man? I don't know. I'm on private property. My boss owns the home, and they're trying to ID me. I'm just making sure that Come they're with top, that they're within their right to do so. And now this old cop is going to try to talk him into giving his license and explaining him this and explaining him that and being his friend. And then he's going to get a little angry with him. And but our guy is going to stick to his guns, and I got to commend him for doing that. But it's still a fail, and you're going to see why in just a minute. He owns the home. He's He'll, He's flipping the home. If he'll verify that, we'll coach. Yeah, that's, that's what why I thought. We're here. Why won't you tell who you are? Are you a murderer? Or? No, I just don't want y'all violating my rights. This is how not are, a stop and ID how state. Are we, uh, how are we violating your Because this isn't a stop and ID state, and you have to have reasonable, what? articulable suspicion that I've committed a crime, about to commit well, a crime, or have committed a crime. Reasonable suspicion? We don't know who you are. 
And you're saying this is your boss's house. We don't it know is. who your boss is. We can't prove ownership. Well, he could probably give you the, the you know, the paperwork on the home. But where's he at? In Knoxville. <laughs> yeah. So we don't know if you're supposed to be here or not. We can call him and say, this dude here says he's supposed to be here. Right. I know. I understand what you're saying. I'll tell you I, what I do. And I just, I just want to make sure everyone's on the same page. Who dude, owns the truck? Is that yours? Yeah, that's my truck. Is it registered to you? Well, are you going to run my tag? Is it registered to you? I'm not going to Cody, answer. I don't answer Cody, questions. Cody, just run the tag. That's illegal. No, it's not. I haven't committed a crime, man. That's not illegal. It is, dude. I'm going to file. A, I'm going to file, file a complaint. File your complaint. I'm, I don't want it to go that way, man. Well, go ahead. I just want Knock everybody. Knock yourself out, brother. Okay. And that's about all this patriot can do, without having to go to jail. That is. Police officers have total discretion whether they enforce the law or not. So before they enforce one, they should really think of what the spirit of the law is. In other words, what was it intended for? Most laws are put in place to protect innocent people from getting hurt. So if I violate a law that the only person that could get hurt is me, you should not enforce that. Don't be so petty. Because if you do, it looks like retaliation or a fishing expedition. No, you didn't, dude. You, you tell me, hey, pull over. I tried to. I tried over there. I asked you to stop to tell you to change to the other side and ride in a bicycle lane. You drove away from me. I have it on camera, just like you have it on camera now. I'm doing it for my safety, bro. For your safety? I mean, you're pulling me over for no reason. So, oh, hey. So, senior, that's what we have here. Uh, bicyclist on a sidewalk. Tried to stop him earlier up there on Calle Pesano, just to let him know, hey, you need to change the side. So, all you tried to establish his age because he's not wearing a bicycle anymore. Helmet. Uh, I don't look at Operating I... his mobile phone. Drove away from me. So, now I have him here. Okay. He's unwilling to give his name or date of birth, so I can't be in the section. I don't. I don't look at under eighteen, bro. Are you? You're over. You're over eighteen. I, I look. I mean, if I look under eighteen, man. I mean, yeah, thanks no, for the compliment, bro. You know, I just, <laughs> you're aging, bro. I guess. So. But I mean, like, like I said, I, I'm going on, to work, man. Come on, you, man. Are you on your way to work right now? Yeah. Where are you working at right now? In Simi Valley. In Simi. Yeah. That's a long ride. I know. That's what I'm saying. Like. What do you do for work? Uh, uh, carpet cleaning. Oh, nice. Right on, man. Um, so do you understand why my partner... Well, he, I mean, he's, he's saying that I can't be on, on the, Correct. on the sidewalk. Yeah, not a big, not a big deal. But I mean, I haven't seen any, like, any signs saying that I can't not be on the sidewalk. It's common, it's common knowledge. And then, I, I mean, I don't, I don't trust the, those, um, those bike lanes, man. You know, I've seen a lot of accidents. Right. This kid's gonna put up a good fight, but we all know what happens in the end, right? Yeah. Let's skip to the end and find out. Because I don't have to give you guys my name when I haven't committed a crime. Yes, you do. Again, you do. Since you but I haven't committed a crime. You violated the vehicle code. There's no vehicle code because I'm not driving a vehicle. Yeah. No, How many bicycles times? fall under the vehicle code. Even pedestrians you guys have to make it so like What's the date of birth, Marco? December 2nd of 88. Seven? December. December 2nd. December 2nd, I'm sorry. He did his best, but in the end, they got his ID. Only thing that comes to mind when I see this traffic stop is like stealing candy from a baby. So easy. When you've got kids that really don't know their rights, I should still be able to trust the cops to do the right thing and not violate their rights. I get everybody's ID in this vehicle stop. Tell them they're, they're trespassing on a public road, belittle them, and threaten them. For what? For their egos. And just as a reminder, if you're trespassing, you're supposed to be able to leave first, get a chance to leave first before they take your ID. Didn't happen here. Investigation. You understand me? And if you keep doing what you're doing and keep beating, bucking up, you're gonna end up going to jail. I just told you, interference with police investigation. Well, we didn't know that. We we're just about to leave as soon as she told us. No. If you're talking, but I made a U-turn. You know with that. The police investigation. Right now, you're trespassing. What? Okay. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. You don't win. I win. You don't win. I win. Get your ID out. Who doesn't have an ID? I should. You gave two of them over here? Rose, you have two? That's the only one I have. What city is everybody living here? What? What about your buddy next to you? He's in Detroit. 
Yeah, I'm from Detroit. Where do you live? I'm from it. I live in Detroit. So what are you guys doing up here? As I said, we just came. We don't even know nothing. And she told us to make a U-turn, and that's what I made a U-turn. And somebody, oh, probably you was that flashlight. Yeah. That's what I stopped. So that's it. Nothing yeah. else. No, I told you to turn around multiple times, and you just. Well, no, I just make you. I said, I said, this isn't an no, I said, do this you live a, here? And you just stared an at me. And I said, do you live here? And you. I stared didn't at me. hear that. I didn't hear that. And, and I said, leave. Okay, turn I wasn't leaving though. I wasn't leaving. Oh, I just yeah. made a U-turn right next to you. Right oh, thank next thank to you, you right? Did I even want anywhere? No, I didn't. See, I'm close parents, to you. Your parents teach you to be this disrespectful? I'm not yeah. being disrespectful. Oh, you're I'm being, just, you're I'm being just very, practicing my rights, officer. Yeah. I'm just There's practicing a difference my rights. between practicing your rights and yes. being very disrespectful. I'm not being yeah. disrespectful. Oh, you're, being, being, you're being very disrespectful. I don't know what happened to you. I think you're having a bad day. You're just trying to get, you know get what I, You know what I think? What happened? Uh, you know what I think? What do you think? What do I think? Yeah. I think you're just disrespectful. I think you can't stand it. Uh -huh. You can't stand that you're in the position that you're in. Uh -huh. And you don't know when to shut your mouth. That's the problem. I have freedom of speech, brother. Then practice it. I am practicing, practicing it. it by being quiet. Look, there is another one. You understand then. that? You better ID them, too. Park it. Park it. Officer, can I, can I turn on my vehicle? No, leave it off. Okay. Yeah, yeah the, okay. leave it on? Put your phone down, man. It's okay, I'll just... Put your phone down. Is, is, it, is it a crime? Just keep it on? I'll just keep it on because I didn't even do nothing. I don't know nothing. She told me no, to make it. Trespassing, that's what you're doing. Trespassing? For yeah, what? You're trespassing. How? How is that, though? How I don't answer that? to you. Okay, then. You asked me a question and I answered it. Okay, I don't want a question, though. Okay. You guys having a good day? Officer. Better than yours. I can tell. I mean, Better I than tell. yours. How's your family? Everything good? How's the family? How's the kids? You go to school and everything? How are you? you good? Don't talk to me like you know me. I'm trying to be a yeah. f citizen, to... man. Then practice it by being quiet. I'm not being detained, am I? Yeah, you are. For what reason? You're trespassing. I've already explained um, this to you. You're um, interfering with the police investigation. The next step uh -huh. is I'm going to handcuff you. I'm going to take you with me. I didn't know. Would you you understand? You, I've already explained this to you. I'm not going to explain it to you again. Okay. If I have to explain it to you one more time, you're getting locked up. That's what they do, man. That's right. That's what we do. Purple. What's your base number? 109. 109. Uh, Troy Police? You're in the city of Troy. Yes, sir. I'll see you guys pretty soon. I'm easy to find. If you're threatening me, I'm, I'm easy not, to I'm find. I'm threatening you, sir. You just told me. I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon in the court. I need your shower. Good. Tell what? him I said hi. He knows exactly who I am. That's my daddy. That's my stepdad, actually. Yeah, okay. I'm telling you, that's my stepdad. Mm -hmm. The sheriff is your stepdad? Yeah. Okay, good. You planning I'm on driving us out of here? I'm sorry? You planning on driving this vehicle Next time out of I here? catch you up here, I'm up here all the time. Next time I catch you up here, if you give me this again and I run your car and there's no insurance, I'm towing the vehicle. You got me? Because what I'm suspecting is that you paid for it and then you called back and you canceled it, which is why it says no in my system. But I swear I did okay, pay for I, it. Okay, I, I don't want to hear it. I, I'm telling you what's happening. Okay. I'm letting you go. Okay, Next thank you. Next time I catch you, I'm impounding the vehicle. You got me? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Here's all the IDs. Okay, thank you. So there you have it. Fail, fail, fail.